Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. Sharice Johnson Moore here with your daily devotional for September the 21st, 2021. And today we are reading out of Genesis 17, 1 through 27. Genesis 17, 1 through 27. And today it is very important that when God has changes for you, don't be scared. Don't be fearful. Let God take control of the changes that he has for you. And we see in this chapter, we see that they go through some changes. And the changes are surprising and the changes are for the betterment of them. So let's get into today's daily devotional out of Genesis 17, 1 through 27. All right, come on, babies, let's go. Okay, let's get into the lesson for today. Daily Devotional, Genesis 17, 1 through 27. And it reads, And when Abram was ninety years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect, and I will make my covenant with between me and thee and I will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee, and I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee, and I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee and thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, thou shalt keep my covenant Therefore thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised, and ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man child in your generations. He that is born in the house or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house and he that is bought with thy money must need needs be circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man whose flesh, man 
and the uncircumcised man child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He hath broken my covenant. And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarai, thy wife, thou shalt not call her Sarai, but Sarah shall her name be. And I will bless her and give thee a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is an hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is ninety years old bear? And Abram said unto God, O oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee, behold, I have blessed him, and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly twelve princes shall he beget and I will make him a great nation but my covenant will I establish with Isaac which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year and he left off talking with him and God went up from Abraham. And Abraham took Ishmael his son, and all that were born in his house, and all that were bought with his money, every male among the men of Abraham's house, and circumcised the flesh of their foreskins in the self same day as God had said unto him. And Abraham was ninety years old and nine when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Ishmael, his son, was 13 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. In the selfsame day was Abraham circumcised and Ishmael, his son, and all the men of his house, born in his house, and bought with his money of strangers, were circumcised with him. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you to say thank you. Thank you for your word that is awesome and true and honest and open. Lord, we thank you for the words that you have given us, that you have bestowed upon us, that you have to teach us. Lord, let us learn with an open heart open mind and an open spirit. Let us learn. Let us learn what God is telling us in this time and season. Lord, we thank you for your word. May you add a blessing to the reading of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. babies how are y'all doing today all right let's do let, let's talk about this this um this this chapter genesis 17 1 through 27 in this chapter we see that god sits down with abram and sarai and he 
tells them what he has planned for them next. First, he starts off with a name change from Abram to Abraham and Sarai to Sarah. And in that conversation with God that now we call him Abraham, that Abraham is having with God, we see that God tells him specific things to do. And the things that concern his wife, Sarah. As we know, as I have said, he has changed their names from Abram to Abraham, from Sarai to Sarah. So, and God also tells Abraham what he will do with his wife, Sarah. And God gives them specific instructions to do when it concerns the covenant that he is is making with Abraham. And he says, Abraham, I want you to do this. This is what I want you to do to, so, to solidify your covenant with me. And the covenant consists of it can it consists of so many things that are of God. He says, I will I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. This is what God has, has told Abraham. And I want you to do this to solidify solidify our relationship. And he also tells him, he says, I will give you the land, give you the land where you will be strangers in. But you will have the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession. You will possess this land and I will give it to you. And to keep this covenant between me and thee for generations to come, I need you to circumcise. Circumcise every man, child, and every adult man. Even the men that you have bought with your money, they might be family, family, all all the people that are in your circle. All the men, the the children and the men, I need you to circumcise them. Okay, even the men that you have bought with your money. And this I will take as a covenant between me and you. He also, God also says, says, this is what I'm going to do with your wife, Sarah. And he says, and he says, and God said unto Abraham, And as for Sarai, thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall her name be. And I will bless her and give her a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. And during this, during the time God tells him this, Abraham He says he falls on his face and he says, he asks God, he says, Now, then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is ninety years old bear? And Abraham said unto God, O that Ishmael, Ishmael, might live before thee. He said, and God says to tell, God says to him, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. As for Ishmael, I'm telling you what's going to happen with Ishmael as well. And Ishmael says, and and as for Ishmael, I have heard 
oh, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he bear, be, he have, he will have twelve sons. And I will make him a great nation. I'm going to make him a great nation as well, along with Isaac, the son that you will have with Sarah. And, you know, and then he says, but you have to have to have a covenant with I, I, uh, I, I, but my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. He's telling him she's going to have this child next year. The same time next year. Says, and he left off talking with him and God went up from Abraham. See, and then the next the next thing Abraham does is he proceeds to do what God is asking him to do. He circumcised all the men, all the children. Uh, he circumcised them. And he solidifies the covenant with God. And Ishmael was 13 years old at this time. So uh, Abraham, he circumcises him. And he circumcises every flesh, every flesh. And his son, he and Ishmael, he circumcises him. Okay, so we see that Abraham is being very obedient to what God has asked him to do. Obedience is very important in your relationship with God. And God gives us daily instructions of what to do. So, what are you listening to? Are you listening to the inner voice, the inner man, the inner instinct God has given you to listen to him? Or are you just living a life and, and God tells you to do something and you're ignoring it? See, this covenant between Abraham and God solidifies their relationship. That I give you this covenant and this will how this will make a bond between us that no one shall separate. No one can separate you from God once you make a covenant with him. And with these things, God has promised him, God has given him, God has prophesied to him that this next time, next year, the same day, same year, same time next year, Sarah will have a son named Isaac. And from now on, this is the rule of law for their generations to come, where all men have to be circumcised in order to live amongst them. They are not circumcised. They cannot go. They cannot covenant. They cannot live amongst them. They shall be cast out. Cast out because they are not circumcised. Because... This is a way of God saying, I am with you. I am not against you. So, what are you making a covenant with God for? Are you solidifying your relationship with him? Are you making promises to him? Are you, are you devoting your life to him? That's what this is. It's called devotion to God only and I put no other man before you. I put no other person before God. I put nothing before God. God comes first. And whatever God wants, God gets. Regardless if you have to estrange yourself from 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 others that do not walk with God. As they say, you can be in the world but not of the world. You 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 can live amongst others that do not have relationship with God, but you don't have to do what they do because they do not have no relevance for God in their life. So, life is that way sometimes. 
You know, what are you willing to sacrifice to have a relationship with God? What are you willing to walk away from? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to just say, okay, God, I, I'm I'm here, I'm I'm yours, and I do not want to uh, be disobedient to you. So I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen to you attentively, listen to you all the time, and not take advice from others that have nothing to do with you. It's all about our relationship with God and our sacrifice that we make. He changes their names. He gives them a new way of living, a new guideline, a new a new a a new uh, syllabus, as you would say, of what I require for you to have a relationship with me. So, what are you willing to change about yourself to have a relationship with God? All right, babies. This is my message for today, and I hope you take it with you on your journey and always put God first. Thank you for listening for today. I love you, and I will talk to you again, again for Genesis 18. Genesis 18. All right. Love you. Bye, babies. Hello, 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 Sharice Johnson Moore here, and I have something special for you. Okay, I'm starting a new streaming channel, and it is entitled LBM TV. Okay, so I want to get you seen in front of 4.5 million people. Okay. You know how many people that is that you could advertise your business to, that you could put yourself on front of the people to be seen. 4.5 million people. Oh my God, that's a lot of people, right? So, I'm opening the door for all of those that would like to advertise on my TV channel, LBM TV, an opportunity to really get in front of the people you can contact with contact me through lbmtvmedia at gmail.com for further details lbmtvmedia at gmail.com for further details okay so i want to get you seen in front of 4.5 million people okay so that's on a daily basis and I wanted to let you know that I support all businesses, okay? So come on in, come on in the room and get seen on TV, okay? All right, babies, I love you. everyone, Sharice Johnson Moore here, owner and CEO of LBM TV. At LBM TV, our objective is to give you programming that will invigorate, motivate, and inspire you. Our programming will provide you with insight, in-depth knowledge, and solutions in your daily living. We can be seen on every smart TV, smartphone globally, We're located on the C1 Media Smart TV app, Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Google TV. So get ready to enjoy positive, uplifting programming for your daily living here at LBM TV, where we care about you.